Hi, this is Chris Kaprowski. Today we're going to do a mini tutorial on how to make Microsoft Word manage citations in APA formatting. It's so much easier to insert sources directly into Word rather than typing each reference manually. Once we put a source into a document, we can access it as necessary for this paper or for future work. One of the first things we're going to do is hit the Reference tab and tell Microsoft Word what kind of style we're using. APA 6th edition. Okay, I'm going to scroll down to the next page where I have inserted two quotations and a paraphrase. This quotation right here I got from the CSU library. So I get rid of the period and I bring the cursor exactly where I want it to be uh, for the citation. Insert citation and I'm going to add new source. We have to tell Microsoft Word what type of source. This came from a journal article. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in the author. Next comes the title. I like this because we can format it without worrying about spelling or anything. And then the journal name. Add a comma, and now I'm going to add in my volume and issue numbers and page numbers. All I need now is the year, and I'm done. Microsoft Word puts it right in for you. Next, since I have a quotation, I have to add page numbers. So I'm going to take my cursor and highlight, tap one pull down that drop-down menu and convert this citation into static text. So it'll let me add the page number. As you can see, insert citations, it's in the document. Now the next quotation has a document number. I'm not very fond of typing numbers, so before I put this into the document, I copy and paste this. So I can just paste away when I get inside. Again, I put my cursor by the period, get rid of it, move it over, and I'm going to insert my citation, add new source. This is another journal article, so we're just going to continue typing the author name, which I have typed down below, and the title. And go with a colon, to keep the capital letter. and our journal name. Comma. Again, we add all our numbers in and our page numbers. Our year is 2013. And down here by pages, I'm just going to paste in the DOI number. Done. I'm going to highlight, pull down that drop down menu, and add my page number since this is a quote. All done. As you can see, both sources are in the document. Now, this last one is a document from the internet. I paraphrase from this document, and this is my document. This is a lot of copying and pasting. Now, the first thing I like to do is take my URL. And then I'll pick up my year, 2007. Put my cursor where it belongs. And we're going to insert another citation. This wasn't from a journal article. It was from a document on the web. I'm going to find that. Here we go, document from website. Paste my URL in. And my year, I know 2007. I'm going to go back to the page. And we'll pick up our title. On PDFs, most time you can only copy one line of the title at a time, which is even faster for me than typing manually. All I have to do is get rid of these capitals, unless, of course, they're proper nouns. I'm going to go back and get the rest of the title. And of course,
course, after the colon, the article can stay capitalized. Texas as well as a proper noun, so it can stay. See, very easy. One more. Now our author, very easy. We're going to just highlight, copy, and paste. The website, again, very easy. We're just going to work backwards. We'll go to the slash, enter. Texas State University. Okay. And a little lag on mine. And we're in. All right, we're going to ignore this grammar for now. Right here. No page number, we're fine. Now on the next page, I paraphrased from these three sources. Let me show you how easy it is to insert citations. The first one is from Roberts. The next is from Forte. So I'm going to go back and insert citation. So we can use these sources as many times as we want. They're already in the paper. I don't have to worry about it. I don't even have to worry about formatting my reference page, which we're going to do right now. I'm going to insert a blank page. And here we're going to center it and add our references. Bring it back here. We're going to hit references under bibliography. Insert my bibliography, please. Thank you, Microsoft Word. Alphabetize, even with my hanging indent here. Now, what I want to do is I have to format it. So I can go back in and pick my font and then the number. I'm still highlighted, so this is very, relatively very easy. I'm going to format our, in, our special hanging indent just to make sure. Keep this on auto and auto our spacing. Don't add more space. And finally, let's remember to keep it in double space. Perfect. And the only other thing you have to do is change this right here from it italicized to regular. Anytime we use journal articles. That's it. We're all set. Beautifully referenced. Let's go back in just to show you one more time. All my citations are in here. Inserting sources directly into Word makes formatting academic papers very simple. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to let Microsoft Word manage our citations.